acoustic homing torpedoes may be divided into two general types, active and passive. Passive torpedoes listen for cavitation noises generated by the propellers of target ships or submarines. Here, as in the remainder of this film, dimensions have been altered to simplify visual presentation. When acoustic contact is made, the torpedo will home on the target. However, noises from the propellers are limited in amplitude when a target moves slowly or when the target is at a relatively great depth, or both. Under these conditions, passive torpedoes are ineffective. Active torpedoes, on the other hand, do not depend upon noises coming from the target. They periodically transmit an ultrasonic ping. If a target is in the area, echoes are produced. The echoes, in turn, direct the torpedo. In addition to the target, however, marine life and particles in the water close to the torpedo also produce echoes. These echoes are complex reverberations, which would misdirect the torpedo if means were not provided to prevent it. To prevent misdirection, the torpedo is provided with a time variation of gain circuit, TVG, which makes the torpedo insensitive to echoes received from very short distances. Thus, the torpedo is not distracted and it homes on the target. Before considering several post-war active acoustic torpedoes, let us look at some earlier passive ones. This passive torpedo, known as the Mine Mark 24, or as FIDO, is perhaps the best known of all acoustic weapons. This device saw service both in the United States Navy and in the British Navy during World War II. The torpedo Mark 27 Mod Zero is the pro-submarine counterpart of the mine Mark 24. It is a veteran of the Pacific fighting during World War II. It is the only acoustic torpedo designed primarily as a defensive weapon for use against attacking enemy surface ships. The torpedo Mark 28 arrived toward the end of World War II. It resembles closely the familiar electric Mark 18 torpedo with the addition of an acoustic homing system. The Mark 34 torpedo is essentially a double-sized higher speed mine Mark 24. It arrived a little late for World War II. The torpedo Mark 27 Mod 4 is one of the latest of passive weapons. It incorporates many of the features of earlier acoustic weapons with additional features of its own. These weapons just shown are all passive acoustic torpedoes. The weapons shown here are active acoustic torpedoes. They are the Mark 32 Mod 1, the Mark 41 Mod Zero, the Mark 43 Mod Zero, and the Mark 43 Mod One. The Mark 35 is also an active acoustic torpedo. However, it will not be discussed in this film. This film will consider the specific characteristics of each of these weapons. They have a great many functions, however, which are similar. To illustrate their general behavior, let us first consider a hypothetical active acoustic torpedo, which is representative of them all. Upon being launched from a firing vessel or from aircraft, the torpedo enters the water and commences its initial dive. Then the torpedo stabilizes its descent and assumes a more nearly horizontal attitude. After reaching a predetermined depth, the torpedo starts pinging and listening for echoes. In the following sequence, the ultrasonic inaudible signal from the torpedo will be simulated by an audible tone. In the absence of a target, the torpedo makes a controlled helical downward search for a target. The rate of descent, the rate of turning, 
and the transmitting and receiving pattern of the torpedo are such that a cylinder of ocean is searched. This circle is called the search circle. If contact is made with a target, an echo will reach the torpedo. The echo causes the torpedo to reverse direction and travel along an arc of another circle. This is called the pursuit circle. The torpedo continues in the pursuit circle until the echoes are no longer received. After an additional short interval, it reverses direction again and turns back into a second search circle. Contact is again made with the target. This type of steering, first in the arc of a search circle, on or toward the target, then in the arc of a pursuit circle, off or away from the target, is called on-off steering. Thus, the approach to the target is made along a series of arcs. When the weapon has closed to about 125 feet, the torpedo is purposely deafened. This deafening is called blanking. The torpedo no longer responds to the echoes and enters a final search circle. Upon contact with the target, the explosive charge is detonated. This illustrates the general behavior of many active acoustic torpedoes under optimum conditions. However, optimum conditions do not always exist. For example, suppose operations are conducted in relatively shallow water. If a target is contacted and the torpedo dives at a steep angle, echoes will be received from the ocean floor so that the torpedo will not home on the sea bottom, the acoustic range of the torpedo automatically shortens. This type of blanking is known as angle blanking. Many of the active acoustic weapons incorporate angle blanking. Other compensations are necessary for other unfavorable conditions. For example, let us suppose a torpedo has made sure contact and is approaching a target. Once the torpedo has closed to a range of about 500 feet, a range blanking system deafens the torpedo to distracting echoes arriving from greater distances. This completes our discussion of a generalized active acoustic weapon. Now, let us consider some real active acoustic torpedoes. First, the torpedo Mark 32 Mod 1. The Mark 32 Mod 1 can be launched from blimps, airplanes, or surface ships. At a depth of 18 feet, propulsion starts, and an initial dive at a 15 degree angle is rapidly achieved. During its progress from 18 to 60 feet. The torpedo can respond to echoes in azimuth, but not in depth. At a depth of 60 feet, the torpedo is headed downward at about two and three quarter degrees. Here, the Mark 32 can respond in both azimuth and depth. In the absence of a target, the helical search continues until the torpedo reaches a depth of 225 feet. At this depth, the torpedo continues to circle and search if no echoes are received. This is not to be confused with the maximum depth to which the torpedo may go in pursuit of the target. When the battery is exhausted, the torpedo sinks because of its negative buoyancy. As it sinks through the 500-foot level, the exploder is sterilized. If acoustic contact is made shortly after water entry or at any time during search, there's the pursuit circle. When the range has closed to 500 feet, the torpedo will no longer respond to echoes coming from more remote points. When the range has closed to about 125 feet, the torpedo is deafened. The Mark 32 Mod 1 now re-enters the search circle and hits the target. 
Another type of active acoustic torpedo is the Mark 41 Mod Zero. It is used only as an anti-submarine weapon. The torpedo Mark 41 Mod Zero is launched only by aircraft. Propulsion starts when the torpedo reaches a depth of 20 feet. It is not acoustically enabled at any depth for 20 seconds after launching. It is war-armed below 50 feet. The torpedo Mark 41 Mod Zero searches in a controlled downward helix. The dive angle during search is three degrees. If no target is contacted during its down search, the torpedo continues to search downward until it crushes. In the search circle, the torpedo Mark 41 Mod Zero turns at a 10 degree per second rate. If the target is contacted, the torpedo turns into the pursuit circle and pursues with a seven and a half degree per second off turn. At a distance of 600 feet from the target, the Mark 41 Mod Zero swings one to four degrees in the pursuit circle. This results in virtually straight course homing. At this distance, the torpedo is blank to echoes returning from greater distances. At about 80 feet from the target, another range blank occurs, which deafens the torpedo. As a consequence, the Mark 41 Mod Zero returns to its 10 degree per second search circle, and collision results. If the Mark 41 Mod Zero has pursued the target and lost it at a range greater than 600 feet, it will again start searching after eight seconds. If target contact is lost within a range of 600 feet, the torpedo levels off after eight seconds and continues its search at a constant depth. If an attack carries the torpedo above 50 feet, the exploder will be inactivated and the torpedo will start a down search. Let us consider next the torpedo Mark 43 Mod Zero. In a great many respects, this weapon can be considered a miniature Mark 41 Mod Zero torpedo. Transmission of pings is delayed a few seconds after launching because of vacuum tube filament warm-up time. At a depth of 30 feet, the torpedo is war-armed. It is capable of responding to acoustic signals as soon as its vacuum tubes warm up. As with the Mark 41 Mod Zero, the Mark 43 Mod Zero makes a port helical downward search limited to a three degree down angle and a 10 degree per second turning rate. If a target is not encountered, the torpedo searches downward to a depth preset in the torpedo shop. Here, like the Mark 32, it continues to circle and search. If a target is encountered, the torpedo enters the pursuit pattern. After the torpedo has closed to within 500 feet of the target, a range blank prohibits response to echoes coming from greater distances. As the torpedo approaches its target, it is blanked for echoes returning from objects within about 90 feet. The torpedo re-enters a search circle and detonation follows. If the Mark 43 Mod Zero has pursued a target and lost it without closing to 500 feet, the torpedo will again start a downward search, this time after an eight second delay. If target contact is lost within a range of 500 feet, the torpedo levels off and continues searching at this constant depth. If an attack carries the torpedo above 30 feet, the exploder will be inactivated and the torpedo will re-enter a down search. 
Now let us consider the next active acoustic weapon on our list. This is the torpedo Mark 43 Mod 1. As a helicopter weapon, it makes a dive at about a 30 degree angle. It becomes war armed at 50 feet. It may be acoustically enabled at 50 feet or at a greater depth, depending upon the initial setting. The downward search spiral of the Mark 43 Mod 1 is typical of the other weapons just presented. After an initial dive, the Mark 43 Mod 1 can also be made to search upward by means of a shop adjustment. In the downward search, the Mark 43 Mod 1 has a variable depth search reversal floor. Now this means that the torpedo can be caused to spiral downward to any preset depth. For example, 150 feet, where it will reverse its vertical search direction and spiral upward. The floor setting is a torpedo shop adjustment. Since search reversal can also take place at a ceiling, the torpedo can be made to search both upward and downward within a prescribed stratum. When the target has been contacted and the range has closed to 500 feet, the torpedo Mark 43 Mod 1 will no longer respond to echoes coming from greater distances unless contact is lost for more than six seconds. When the Mark 43 Mod 1 closes to a range of about 125 feet, it is blanked to returning echoes. Hence, it reverts to its search turn and strikes the target. If the Mark 43 Mod 1 should lose its target after pursuing to within 500 feet of the target, it will continue pursuit for about two seconds and then level off for four and a half seconds before recommencing search in the direction of the last echo if it does not again pick up the target within the first six seconds after loss. The Mark 43 Mod 1 has some features not to be found in other torpedoes of its general type. For example, the Mark 43 Mod 1 can be set to follow a gyroscope controlled course at a predetermined depth, say 150 feet, before it starts its characteristic search. During the gyroscope controlled portion of the run, the torpedo neither pings nor listens. It is acoustically enabled at the end of its gyroscope run. After enabling, the torpedo enters the typical search spiral. Another distinguishing feature of this torpedo is its pendulous transducer. It is vertically stabilized so that for practical purposes, it is independent of the pitch of the torpedo. If the torpedo tilts up or down, the transducer retains the same position which it had when the torpedo had zero pitch. Therefore, the torpedo can be largely free of capture by reflected surface or bottom noises, thus eliminating the need for pitch blanking. The Mark 43 Mod 1, unlike the torpedoes previously discussed, is fired electrically by means of a pre-setting cable and a control box. The control box includes circuits for battery heating, gyroscope, and vacuum tube warm-up, and for firing the torpedo. This completes our general discussion of the active type torpedoes Mark 43 Mod 1, Mark 43 Mod 0, Mark 41 Mod 0, and Mark 32 Mod 1. Thank you.